Hi everyone, Marty Rosmanith from WordPress Direct, and today I'm going to show you how to sign up for an account on Google AdSense. I'm not going to take too much time to explain the differences between AdWords and AdSense. I'm sure there's something in the challenge doing that already. I will, however, tell you just briefly what AdSense is, because in the challenge this year we're using it to evaluate the commerciality of your site. So let's get started. Okay, so what Google AdSense is, is text advertising that Google displays on your website, which is in this case your WordPress Direct blog. And Sense is the key word in it, meaning that what it does, when it displays your pages, it figures out what your content says, and then it matches the correct ads to it. It does this in real time as it's figuring out how to display the content. And it does this for billions of pages on the internet every second. Um, it's really an amazing technology. Google's the leader in this technology. Um, it can also provide you with some incredible statistics about how users are interacting with your content. Um, your site, because it's displaying their ads, will become part of what Google calls their content network. So let's uh, show you now how to get an account. Okay, the way to get started is to sign up with an AdSense account. If you type in adsense.google.com, Google will redirect you uh, to the AdSense homepage. And if you are already signed in with your Google account, uh, it'll take you right to where you need to go. Uh, if you haven't, then sign in uh, with your email address. Uh, and I'm assuming that you have a Google email address, I don't think it matters. You can sign in with any email address. Uh, as you can see in the example, any email will do. Um, if you have a Google account, um, then you know it, it's probably best to sign in with your Google account. Now, if you don't have a Google account, uh, you can use another email, but you're going to have to click the Sign Up Now button to actually create that new account. And that's what I'm going to do just to show you how to do it. So we're going to say sign up now. All right, what you need to do when you sign up for a new account is you're going to have to supply them with one website that they can review. Um, now, if you are in the challenge, you can just use your challenge website for this purpose. Um, it'll be perfect for this because it is uh, unique content written by you. It's going to have some backlinks. It'll already be ranking. Everything should be fine with using a challenge account. For the purpose of this account, I am going to use my Shoulder Summit blog. So I'm going to um, say www.shouldersummitblog.com. And now um, this is just a site that they can review. It doesn't have to um, be the site that you're going to actually put the AdSense on. Once you have an account, you'll be able to put the AdSense code on multiple sites. Um, you'll have to tell it what language it's in, and you, these are their terms of service. You won't place ads on sites that includes incentives. Um, so you can't pay people to click ads on your site. It's against their terms of service, um, and you won't uh, place ads that uh, lead people to pornographic content. So that's pretty easy to <laughs> comply with. Um, now, for the account type, you're going to want to, um, if you're an individual or a business, uh, select one or the other. Um, in this case, I'm going to say individual. Um, I'm in the United States. Uh, pay full name. I don't know if a phone number is required, so I'm just going to leave it blank and see what they do. When you... Um, Say, how did you find out about Google AdSense? I would say a friend or colleague. Um, and then you um, have to comply with their program terms. Uh, if you haven't already read their policies like I have, then read the policies. Um, and if you already have an approved AdSense account, I think you can't open up multiple accounts. I don't have an AdSense account, so I'm just going to... Uh, click that I don't already have an approved account. And we will submit this, see what happens with the phone. All right, so the phone came back that it can't be blank. So I'll put my phone number in there. 
All right, once you submit the information, um, Google's going to come back and uh, have you verify it. Um, and now I've uh, blanked some of it out um, for privacy reasons. And now if uh, you have a Google account, uh, then you can link these to your Google account. Um, I'm going to set this up uh, because I don't have a Google account that I use um, for services like AdWords. I tend to not use Google accounts for those services. So when I click that I want to create a new Google account, it's going to provide you with these fields here. Um, the first is the email. I'm going to use the email that I used uh, in the first video I put uh, in the challenge. Um, we're going to pick a password. And then this word verification is to let them know that you are not some script or robot signing up for an account uh, trying to game the system. So then uh, once you've entered that information, go ahead and click continue. If you um, still need to read the terms of service or privacy policy, there are links here. Um, once you're familiar with them and you've accepted them, then you can click continue. All right, so as you can see, they're going to send you an email to the email address you use. That's going to verify that's a real email address. And then you want to follow the instructions there um, to submit your application. And uh, it's, like they say, they're going to, it's going to take them two or three days. If you don't um, receive it uh, within 24 hours, then look in your junk mail folder and see if it got filtered. Um, you can also then um, re have it resent uh, here by logging into AdSense and, uh, and then following the instructions that will be listed there. All right, so the next part of this video is going to be what it looks like once your account's approved. All right, so anyway, that's how you sign up for an account. You're going to have to go and you're going to have to um, follow the instructions in the email they send you. And then um, if you have any trouble, um, then please post something on the forum and, uh, and you can get some help uh, with any weird special cases that might come up. Um, thanks for watching the video. Uh, again, if you like these videos, you can find more videos for the challenge at uh, the address listed below, challenge.co.